Well, speaking of downtown Lansing, big businesses that are looking for state tax credits to come out of the Capitol may be on a collision course with some conservative groups. Capitol correspondent Tim Skubik is here for you with the details on a fight that's just starting to unfold. When the Chinese high tech firm Foxconn announced it was expanding in the United States, it triggered a feeding frenzy among many state legislatures, each hoping to land thousands of new jobs. Michigan Governor Rick Snyder and his pals in the Republican House and Senate quickly cobbled together a tax incentive program called Good Jobs for Michigan, designed to lure Foxconn here. Starting to lay the groundwork on some uh, corporate cronyism that we think is uh, uh, a bad idea, it continues to be a bad idea. The legislature passed the package and crossed its fingers, only to see the company go across the lake to Wisconsin. What happened next proves this was a bad idea from start to finish, according to the Michigan Freedom Fund, underwritten with the Boss family money. So this was the big package, big fancy bells and whistles trying to get Foxconn. And uh, everybody seems to forget that they did all this for Foxconn. Uh, Foxconn said, eh, no thanks, we're going to Wisconsin. And then on top of that, then they hosed Wisconsin and uh, left them holding the bag. Mm -hmm. And so it just goes to show why this stuff is such a bad idea. So what does the business community think about taking a tool away from the state to lure more jobs? Every governor, including Jim Blanchard, John Engler, Jennifer Granholm, and Rick Snyder, did it. They offered incentives. This business lobbyist argues the state needs tax incentive programs to get good jobs, and without it, the good jobs will go elsewhere. Good Jobs for Michigan is the only real tool that MEDC currently has. I just think the reality is if we're not competing for industrial jobs and investment, we won't get them. We will be looking at other states who beat us to those jobs. Mr. Daunt, however, is telling lawmakers, you don't have to vote to kill this thing. It will expire on its own at the end of the year. All we're asking the legislature to do is nothing, and that's one of the things sometimes they're best at. Here for you in Lansing, Tim Skubik, 6 News.